some little cheap mow covers. I'm going to ground the outside welds. Um, I'm going to do some more tack welds on that. I'm going to ground the outside row. And then the inside, I'm going to start down here at the bottom and seam seal around it um, as best I can on both sides. And it's probably going to be a wrap on the wheel tubes. We can see growth, they tell me they feed, but they work for the man. I can't relate, I did it on my own. Look how we grow out the concrete, two rows, stuck by that code. Kush got me back on the float. I'm really trying, my heart is restraining and asking the urge to show up and glow on these boys. Don't tell me I won't. Can't nobody see me. I've been on dope time, and to be honest, it's not even close. Your favorite is faking his streams, he a meme, he not what he show. But what do I know? All them thoughts that you have, even yours. I'm paying my pain over course. Fuck a reward, I'm earning my stripes. I give it a pipe, I'm generous. I say how I feel, I go where I grow. Don't tell me that love is for me. I'm here on my own, I'm feeding my soul. I don't hate. All right, so it ain't perfectly aligned, but it's on for the first time. And it tucks like hell. Yes. <laughs> it tucks like hell. Uh, obviously, you can tell the body lines aren't perfect. We're, we're going to get that fine-tuned when we build the stands. We just want to see it on the truck. What y'all think? It was great. I like it. I really like the bed floor. I mean, it's kind of hard to see with the bed dolly on there at the moment, but you'll get the gist of it. It matches everything. Yeah, it does match the truck really well. Yes, it does. I think it'd be done to paint it. Yeah, I don't think I would paint it either. All right, so um, I got me a new microphone because I had a guy tell me, and I've had several people tell me, that when I was talking, you couldn't hear me. So they had to turn their phone or the TV up really loud so they could hear me during the videos. And then as soon as the talking went away and the music started, it was blaring on their speakers. So I picked up a microphone. I'm going to try it, see if you can hear me better. But uh, what I'm doing this, this afternoon is I'm building stands for the bed. Uh, I'm going to take a piece of this tubing. Um, I don't even know what size it is. It is inch and a quarter. All right, so I'm going to take this. And let me find my bag of bolts. So I've got a factory bed bolt. That's what come on the truck. This is metric, so standard bolt doesn't work there. All right, I went and tried to supply. got some washers. Uh, I believe it said these are for a three-quarter bolt. They're really big compared to this bolt. I mean, there's plenty of room. But I'm going to weld the head of that bolt to that washer. And then the whole assembly is going to go in this piece of pipe, and it's going to get welded. Then on the other end, I've got half-inch bolts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take another washer and I'm going to weld the nut to it and I'm going to weld the nut inside the tube and then once you get up under the truck this will be your new bed bolt that's removable where you get the bed off this will be a just a regular half inch bolt I believe that would be a 19 millimeter um, and I've got a washer for a half inch bolt that I'm going to be using on here instead of this gigantic washer. That that way it'll be like factory. Go in and have a, have a washer on it. Um, the main reason I'm using these big nut or big washers is so that, as you can tell right here, it gives me a lip to weld. Um, if I get the, let me find one. If I get the smaller washers. They're the same size as the pipe. So all you all you can do is weld like right here and then you gotta grind it down. Um, I would rather be able to lay the, a nice pretty weld in there um, of the bigger washer. And uh, also it gives a little bit more for the bed to sit on. Um, Cause it's gonna be sitting on eight of these. Uh, this is actually too short. Um, the pipes that I'm cutting are I need eight inches. I, I body dropped the bed eight inches. So in order for the bed to bolt back to the frame, 
it needs to be on an eight inch stand. Um, if you ever decide to body drop it, you just shorten the stand and it moves the bed down the same amount as the cab. All right, so I measured these two washers. They are a quarter of an inch thick, two of them. So I'm gonna cut my tubes seven and three quarter, and then this will make up my eight. So here we go. All right, so what we did here is nothing. Yeah, nothing. Hold on, let me get up here. You don't see this uh, genius piece of pipe, eight inches long, actually seven and three quarter. Hmm. Well, the, the bolt straight to it. I'm gonna grind that down, make it smooth. Then on this end, weld the washer to it with a nut welded to the washer on the inside. New bolt. That simple. We hope. Yeah, we hope. I actually didn't crawl under this truck and measure it, so I'm really hoping that it's uh, eight inches. Good. Mm. Tell us if you turn the welder on. Oh, it definitely help. If it is crooked, don't tell YouTube about it. God. All right, so what we come up with for stands for the bed, piece of pipe, inch and a quarter diameter, and my gimbal just died. We've done something. We've done something. All right, so uh, what we come up with for stands for the bed, um, that's a piece of inch and a quarter pipe. Uh, that's the factory bed bolt. You picking your nose back there? Nah, not um, we just welded the bolt inside the pipe. That's the size pipe we needed for the uh, factory washer on the factory bolt to fit. And it uh, worked out pretty good. You need to weld the bolt to the washer before you weld the washer to the pipe. All right, on this end, I got a half inch nut in there. That is a three quarter washer, I believe. Anyway, I made it big so that I could get a weld on the outside. And then this is going to screw into the bed floor where the factory bolt went. And then this is going to screw where the factory bolt hole in the frame went. And voila, 8-inch spacer. Uh, this is actually not 8 inches. This is uh, 7 and 3 quarter because with the two washers added together, that made a quarter of an inch. So you need to take a quarter inch off the pipe, count for the washers, voila. No. And uh, we were also trying to figure out how we were going to get this in there and make sure it's tight. We're just going to tighten this nut all the way up. It was Dan's idea. Hit it with the impact, it'll spin the whole tube. Voila. Here we go. Welcome to my world, this shit not no joke, I'm right at your throat Hoping you taking the time to cope with me running my race, you not in my pace These niggas act like I'm not goaded, but already know I've been him on the low I did it myself, I'm fond of the cold, I don't need your hand, bitch, I'm good on my own I'm painting my pain, all them thoughts even yours I give her the pipe, she told me I'm good. All right, so uh, we got the bed set on the other night. And I had to pull it out. Um, we're going to work on the next problem, which is this. Nobody wants to ride down the road with their uh, bed flopping. So I'm going to get this wheel pulled off and kind of show you how I'm going to address this.
kind of reattaching these bedsides back to some sheet metal because uh looks terrible when they're flopping down the side of the road also you can see right here there's a cross member right above the notch if he ever decides to body drop this truck you go in you take this cross member out and then you got plenty of room to shorten the stands uh there should be about three and a half inches there um it might be four i ain't put a tape measure on shit but uh whatever that gap is plus that's three inches tall so you got plenty of room to move it down if uh if it decides to body drop it there's also a cross member back here right above the battery it's kind of hard to see uh that would also need to be shortened or uh cut out so the battery would clear but the battery is low enough that it clears fine um it looks like the battery terminals are about touching it but it's actually behind the battery um so I'm going to get this wheels pulled off, and uh, I'll show you how we're going to dress the bedside right, situation. so here is the bottom of the factory fender wheel. Uh, this is where this brace used to bolt up. This is what helps keep the bedside from flopping. Um, so when I raised the bed floor up, I just unbolted this, and I'm going to cut this and extend it or to bolt up here. And I'm also going to go in and trim this and weld some metal in and weld it back up to the bedside that was up there. What I've done is I went to, I actually got this at Tractor Supply. This is a half inch round pipe, uh, 48 inch long stick. Uh, this was kind of expensive at Tractor Supply. It was about $18 for that little bit. But what I did is I cut the brace in two. I bolted it back up and I sleeved it. Uh, I, I left an inch of this in each end. So I cut this 10 inches long. Um, you know, it's that my eight inch gap where I raised the bed floor, uh, plus an inch on each end. So I done that. I done the, just the rear when I got it tacked together. Um, I pulled it out so I could weld it. Um, and now I got to do the other side. And then once I figure out how I'm going to add the metal here, I'll come back and show you. Um, but that's how I'm doing the bed braces. So I sleeved it. I've tried to get stuff that was the same size before and just kind of butt weld it. And it always seems to break. Um, I get it. But with sleeving it, I've had good luck with that. So the the biggest issue I always had was I always had to cut one and go to, the, you know, find a piece of metal that fit over it tight. So I'm saving you from doing that. You need half inch round pipe. Oh, this is gonna be hard to film. All right, so, all right, so here's my bedside where it should cut. I'm trying to just get some sheet metal in here and brace it back up. So I made me a template. And then I cut my template out of sheet metal. And I'm on, going to weld that back in. You just try to connect this bedside back to the inner structure to keep it from flopping. Um, let you know how it goes. Right, so what we ended up doing here is I came in and just added sheet metal to connect where the factory inner fender was originally welded or connected where I cut it. Add a metal in. Sleeve these braces, add a little support there. Same thing up here in the front, just add some metal, sleeve the braces, add a disc, and the bedside don't flop at all. They don't move any. So it ain't exactly the prettiest, and I'm gonna grind it down everywhere I welded, but I haven't made it that far yet. And the bed is almost done. I gotta add a support across the back because I cut this uh, this brace out that runs across your rear most uh, bed bolt cross member. I cut it out and raised it up with the floor and uh, it made the bedside to kind of taper in. So I'm gonna get the tailgate shim to where it needs to be and weld a brace from the bottom of here to the other side. And that should keep the bed from trying to pull back in. And once I get done with that, the bed will be done. All right, so the last piece of the bed was the tailgate when I cut all this loose, um, it let the top of the bed on each side fold in a little bit. Um, I set the, the width on a tailgate with a ratchet strap. I put a big ratchet strap. I hooked it into the holes under the bottom where the tail light wiring harness goes up. Um, I pulled it until I got the right measurement between there and there and made sure that the tailgate shuts right. Um, this tailgate has been up a little bit, but it still shuts correct. Uh, made sure everything shut right. Um, I've still got the ratchet strap on it. And then I went and got a piece of uh, inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. Um, I think this is a uh, 16 gauge. It may be 14, it's pretty thick. Um, so I'm gonna weld that between the two sides on each side. And that should lock the top in place. 
uh, and keep it from trying to flex. And then I'm going to come back and cap this right here. Um, but I need to get these sides. Uh, I need to get these sides mounted solid so that I can shut the tailgate and open the tailgate without uh, without it dragging on the edges of the tailgate right here. So I'm going to weld that in. And I've got all the bedsides done, as you saw earlier. And I'm going to come back with a piece of this uh, plate plate this if it'll clear the tailgate i haven't checked that yet so um i definitely need to do that though because that that looks terrible but um that's gonna finish up this bed uh i'm gonna show you how to do it i'm gonna go back in and finish welding all the way around and uh, do a little seam seal around these wheel tubs and grind that down a little bit try to get in here and blend it with some spray paint and make it match the rest of the truck where you don't really notice that anything was ever done. And one step closer to being done with Nelson's truck. Bed's mounted. Um, every, everything went super smooth with that. So I'm getting excited. I'm about ready to get it out of here. All right, y'all. The bed's mounted. Bedsides ain't flopping. It's getting closer. Tailgate works up and down. And that's it for this one. Come back. Watch the next one. Hopefully, uh, hopefully on the next one, we're about to be finishing this guy up. We're getting close. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Each and every one of y'all. Every time y'all watch this, I appreciate it. Like y'all have no idea.